Rockstar Games updated GTA 6's website again. This is a follow-up video to something we talked about earlier on in the day. I'll leave a link to that video in the description if you guys missed it. But for about 30 minutes this afternoon, the Grand Theft Auto 6 website looked like this. If you went to rockstargames.com slash game slash VI, you would get a page that looks like this, something that we've never seen before. It had a game description for Grand Theft Auto 6, which we know Grand Theft Auto 6 heads to the state of Leonida, home to the neon-soaked streets of Vice City and beyond in the biggest, most immersive evolution of the Grand Theft Auto series yet, coming 2025 to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. It had a spot for latest videos, which right now is only the first trailer. It also had a spot for the latest news, which essentially combines that description and the first trailer. And it also had a spot for screenshots, which we obviously don't see. And then under specifications, it has developer, platform, release date, rating, which as things currently stand, only has rating pending. So that's what Grand Theft Auto 6's website looked like again for around 30 minutes until Rockstar decided to revert all of the changes. And now if you go to that exact same page, rockstargames.com slash games slash VI, it'll just take you straight to the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer page, which is different than the site we were looking at earlier. So something seriously interesting is happening behind closed doors, and Rockstar Games have been making changes left and right. And I am certainly not an expert in web design or web development, but apparently some individuals that have been trying to visit these sites have been getting certain errors and have noticed that large amounts of traffic have been pushed to that page over the last couple of days. So whether or not that is Rockstar's doing or whether or not that is errors done on someone like myself or you guys might be trying to view the site. I don't know. But needless to say, there is a lot of behind the scenes closed doors activity that's been happening really over the last 24 hours involving Rockstar's site. And right now, just from what I've been reading and the conversations I've been looking into, the community seems to be torn here. There's almost 50% of people saying, OMG, this website change and the behind the scenes things that are going on. This is huge. It means Rockstar is set to make their next move. And then there's about 50% of the community that says that changes like this aren't really a big deal at all and that sh we should just wait and be patient. And I'm kind of somewhere in the middle. I do think this indicates Rockstar is doing something. They wouldn't just be making changes like this for no reason. But I also don't necessarily mean we're going to get something like in the next 24 hours or say. What I do believe is going to happen is we will receive some information from Rockstar before their parent company, Take Two Interactive, has their earnings call on Thursday. May 16th at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time. As we talked about in my first video, Rockstar sort of coincides information with these earnings calls so that the likes of Strauss Zelnick and the other executives can talk about it on this call. So that is where things currently stand in terms of the website behind the scenes changes at Rockstar Games. Now, one of the accounts that we were actually focusing on when GTA 6 on X or Twitter, which again, I'll leave a link to in the description, they actually posted an update. They said, new update rolling out tonight that will check the URLs for those images and post them here as soon as they start working. The bot is supposed to try to download all images returned by the API when a match is found, but it broke LMAO. And so a lot of people thought that this account or this bot was going to be able to essentially leak the screenshots that were posted on Rockstar Games site. Uh, the answer to that is they're not going to be able to. They even sort of clarified saying the new update is now live and the bot will now send a tweet as soon as any of the images returned by the API start working. And so Rockstar is probably well aware of programs like this, and there's no way they're gonna put images on their site without making it live to everyone because obviously stuff like this would be leaked so easily. So unless Rockstar is just completely stupid and they happen to put these images on their websites at those URLs where we can't publicly view them, but bots and sites like this can track them, that's the only way it would leak. I don't expect Rockstar is going to do that though. Although I would recommend you guys following this account if you guys are interested. I feel like they were the ones that really broke 
the news that GTA 6 was found on Rockstar Games' site. So it's pretty cool, and if you're interested in it like me, I recommend giving it a follow. And when the page was up, if you actually used Inspect Element, you could sort of see the box and the areas where Rockstar was going to place the four GTA 6 screenshots. Now, I don't know if this was simply a template layout or if it would legitimately look like this where they would have four different screenshots. But either way, when the site was still up, that's what it looked like, and that's where those screenshots would have gone. Now, obviously, since Rockstar didn't put anything up there, the internet has gone about their own ways of putting their screenshots in there, and it's being memed left, right, and center with players just throwing up AI various generated pictures of what it would look like, or even using mods for like Vice City and San Andreas of Jason and Lucia. So hopefully Rockstar do give us some official screenshots soon, but I really don't know why this happened. I don't know if a Rockstar Games employee ultimately made a mistake, if they were doing this as some sort of test or teaser. I don't think we will really know, but it has been an interesting 24 hours uh, surrounding the websites of GTA 6. And this is just one theory I have. Maybe the four screenshots, if there indeed are four of them, are just four pieces of an image that they could cut out to create an animation on the site. Sort of like they did for the animation in December. I'll show them to you guys in different pieces right now. But you have Jason and Lucia and the driveway they're on and the car they're leaning against. That's one part. Then you have the backdrop of Ocean Drive and the palm trees and the birds. That's another one. Then you literally have two sort of up close palm trees. And then you have the actual background. Those are four pieces that are put together to create one image. And maybe that's what Rockstar is doing again here. And this news of Rockstar's website being updated has taken over the internet as Grand Theft Auto 6, GTA Roman numeral 6, and Rockstar have been trending on Twitter and X really over the last 24 hours. So needless to say, the GTA 6 community is extremely updated in this, and you guys should be because it hopefully means that Rockstar is preparing to give us an announcement of some sort of kind uh, over the next couple of days or weeks. Maybe that'll be new screen shots maybe that'll be new information on the game maybe it will be a second trailer if we're lucky enough who really knows i would love to hear from you guys though in those comments down below what do you think of the updates surrounding grand theft auto 6's website do you think it means anything significant do you think it's really nothing and rockstar will do things on their own time when they're ready let me know what you guys think in those comments down below i'd love to hear from you guys down there if you guys did go on to enjoy this video though a like rating would of course be awesome and be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new you want to stay up to date on all the gta 6 videos that i'll be doing here on my channel and be sure to ring that notification bell as well sometimes youtube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive but of course as always guys thank you all so much for watching take care and i'll see you guys in the next video